Hi everyone. Today we'll be looking at irradiated diamonds. The first diamond we're looking at here is a 1.51 carat emerald cut diamond. It's an irradiated blue diamond. I quite like the diamond. It's a very pretty color. There sometimes is a little bit of a dullness to it, but overall it's very pretty. Second stone here is a 1.67 carat radiant cut. These are two prime examples of irradiated blue diamonds. Many times when blue diamonds are advertised, the fact that they're irradiated is not mentioned. Natural blue diamonds do exist, but they don't look the same hue as these diamonds here. These diamonds are priced about where you'd find, let's say, a G color. They're not inexpensive. The lesser blue diamonds have more of a greenish tinge to them. They're not nearly as pure in terms of their color as these two. That's what distinguishes them as fine irradiated diamonds, as irradiated diamonds go. In this next shot here, we can see them next to each other against a white background. You can see how the radiant is slightly more pure in its blue, and the emerald cut has a slight greenish tinge to it. Put them on my finger here. You can see them both again. Pretty stones. I, I have to admit, I like both of the stones. We don't carry irradiated blue diamonds, but they are pretty. There are some inherent drawbacks to the irradiation process. It slightly burns the diamond. You can see when we put them in very dim light, held next to a natural fancy brownish yellow and an F color, they still show a lot of light back even in very dim lighting, where the irradiated stones practically disappear in the dim lighting situation. That accentuates the condition that I'm talking about. In closing, we can say that there are irradiated diamonds that are quite pretty. They don't look quite like a natural blue diamond, yet they cost a fraction, a tiny fraction of what a natural blue diamond costs. That doesn't mean they're inexpensive. Either of these diamonds would run about seven and a half to nine thousand dollars. For those people who don't mind an irradiated stone, it's a great alternative. We prefer to carry only natural diamonds, but whoever loves diamonds, they should love what they like and buy what they like. Thanks for watching.